Hey, this is Sean with Trimetrics. We're going over a quick video on how to run a test on the RA660 audiometer. So the RA660 is pictured here. So you can see the audiometer, uh, the acoustic simulator is built in. Also has an integrated touch screen. So this will walk you through the listening check and a few other functions. And uh, the software you're seeing, this is HearCon. So HearCon is included with every RA660 audiometer. This is the base software package. So you can see this is your main test screen. In the top left here, we have the audiogram. In the bottom left, we have our commands. In the top right, we have demographics. And then in the bottom right, we have a room monitor. So the room monitor function is optional, but you can see here, so the horizontal lines across the top, these are the OSHA standards. So these are the OSHA limits. These are also customizable. So if you want to use your own limits, that's that's totally fine. You can see the uh, the vertical bars are the, the ambient levels at the different octave bands. So you can see as we talk, it goes up and down. Green is below the limit red is too high there's also a setting where you can pause the test automatically when these uh, when these levels are exceeded and then it'll resume the test as soon as the levels drop back down into a into a normal range we're going to leave this off because we'll be talking through this so to run a test we can select an employee So when you select an employee, it automatically pulls their baseline over so we can see their baseline chart in the audiogram here. The demographic info populates in the top right. So we can go down here and hit new test. So the RA660 does test instruction in multiple languages. So you can see this word bubble in the bottom right. This means that the uh, that the, the audiometer is uh, instructing the, the person taking the test. So we can see here, so you can either watch the uh, the red dot is, is what's presenting, or you can see it in this box here. When, when everything flashes green, that's a response. So we skip forward a little bit here. The test is almost complete. So if we look here just under the demographics, we have a comment section. So if we want to say, you can type in anything you want. This is all free test, free text. Below that, we have the otoscopic results. So normal, partial blockage, blockage unknown. So we can say normal for left and right ear. And then there's some background questions. So does the person use hearing protection? So we can say yes. Loud noise exposure in the last 14 hours. Current or recent cold or sinus related. And have you visited a physician in the past year for hearing? So let's say this individual has a cold. Then we click questions again, and it'll collapse that field. So what just happened here, so the test completed, but there's certain automatic retest, retest criteria that you can turn on or off. So it's going back to check a few a few of the values that uh, triggered some of those retest criteria. All right, so you see this top bar change color. That means the test is complete. I can go over here and click save. Changes color again. So every different status from the audiometer has a different color on this top bar. So that means test is complete. Test is now saved. You can set up to automatically print out a test result as soon as you click save. Uh, it's always going to be in the software, so you can always pull this up at a later date. And then we can click this broom just to bring it back to the idle state and if, to start again. So that's running through a test on the RA660.